This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, ocean fluke fishing. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time, and I'll get to that in a minute. First, uh, the crew, okay, we've got Rick and Cliff, and the guy with the fish on is Doc. And, yeah, you see he's wearing a mask, so, uh, you know, you get comments on these videos about people wearing a mask. But, hey, this guy has gone through about six months of chemotherapy, and uh, he needs to wear that mask. So that's why he's got that on. And, boy, he's going to put on a clinic at the beginning of this trip. So, yeah, let's get right to that and get Doc's first fish in the boat. There you go. Nice one. Let's bring him over. That's it. All right, Doc, with the chicken rig. <laughs> yep. All right, a question I get very often is uh, why casting gear versus spinning gear or vice versa for this kind of fishing? And uh, I'm going to go into that in depth, but I'd love to know what other people think. I mean, why do you choose spinning gear or casting gear uh, for this kind of fishing in a wall? What is your preference and why? And I'll also introduce the spinning version of this very popular uh, dark matter skinner jig and bounce uh, casting rod. And uh, I'll get that out towards about halfway through the trip or so. All right, you see we've got the big orange drift sock out there. Uh, yeah, we need to slow the wind component of this drift down or else we can't even stay down with six ounces. Right now we're all fishing six ounces. Uh, it's going to get even a little worse. We're going to have to kick the trolling motor in, kind of use that as a drift sock and uh, put some pressure into the wind. But uh, another fish for Doc. And we departed from eastern Long Island on this trip. And, hey, there's going to be a, an interesting clip at the uh, very end of this video. So uh, hope you hang in there for that. No, it's not a short. Yes, gonna go fish. I'm oh, get no, no, no. Come on, I already unhooked them for you. Thank you, man. Okay, so my preference for casting gear for this kind of fishing really comes down to depth control. Uh, these reels have thumb bars, actually flipping switches, so you can push the thumb bar, let line out. You pick your thumb up, the line stops going out. You know, you're constantly or very frequently dropping a little line to stay in the strike zone, as opposed to regular bottom fishing, where you're just putting it down and leaving it there. Uh, that's why I find that have the one handed depth control to be very convenient over spinning gear but we'll get to that there you go come on bring them over and it's on the bucktail this time on the skinner bucktail The last time you're coming out. Performance enhancing drugs. You want to eat for it? Oh my god. What the hell is this? This guy is limited. I we know. Caught anything, yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah. Holy. Sh what the hell is this? Last time we take him to a secret spot. I got it. <laughs> That's great. All right, Cliff just stuck one up in the bow with a spinning rod. Um, so, hey, there's a, some good reasons for using spinning over casting, especially if you're a party boat angler, because, uh, you know, a lot of party boat captains will alternate how the boat is oriented on a drift. Now, if you're on the side of the boat where you're uh, drifting down into the current, um, and you drop your line down, the line goes under the boat. But if you've got spinning gear, it's a little bit easier to cast. I know some guys cast just fine with the casting gear. That's why it's called casting gear. But um, I know I cast better with spin gear. Um, and the spinning gear is, uh, in my opinion, a little bit better when you're fishing that, when we'll call it quote unquote, um, wrong side of the boat. So um, you know what? If you're on a party boat, to have one spinning rod, one casting rod, that's probably a, you know, a real good strategy. But, um, yeah, certainly that's, that's one reason to, to take spinning over casting. And, again, there's a lot of opinion to this as well. So, um, you know, maybe you feel differently about it. Oh, 
Oh! Yeah. Okay. It's thick now. I'm going home now. Now, generally, with the guys I fish with, uh, everybody prefers casting gear for this kind of uh, fishing. In fact, Cliff's up there with a spinning rod because he broke off on the bottom on the casting rod, and uh, he just wanted to get back in the water, and he'll re-rig as we're going back up. But, uh, yeah, generally, we're using casting gear for this. So I am going to make the switch uh, some point soon here, and I'm actually going to do better with the spinning gear. So uh, we'll see. Somebody's going to get a fish. That fish has got to come back. Somebody's got to, somebody's got to get him. Oh, is there? Oh, he came back. Need a net? Ah, no, I'll be all right. What's on also? Ah, oh, finally. Oh, come on, get back down here. I don't mean finally, Cliff. I mean finally with. Yeah, we had two, two on. That's the one I lost, probably. I got, somehow I think I got you or something. Something I feel right here. You need the net there, John? I'll swing him. I'll just keep him coming. Whoa. Who's got the keeper? Yeah, landing this one's going to be a little interesting because uh, Rick's got his line on the boat. He doesn't realize he's got it on Doc's rig. And, uh, yeah, it's going to make it a little more challenging for Doc and I. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. So bring him. You know what to do. i tell you. Come on, just keep him going. Keep him going. It's just, he's got his line in there. Oh. Yeah, you know what happened was I got the pressure on the net there. I felt like I was yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody yeah. pulled. Yeah. Okay. Rick's trying and he, to pull the fish out. Rick. Rick, you're trying to pull a fish out. Rick, you know, that's not nice. What the hell? I know you You don't want me to have any more keepers. Rick, that's not nice. You know, let's get the guy a break. Just keep him. Oh, no, no, no. Get away from him. I forgot. Yeah, I'm going to yell at Doc a couple times this trip because he can't get his hands cut. And, you know, there's hooks and crap teeth flying around, and he, he can't get cut. That's because that would be bad. Rick, hold on. All right, I'm just going to walk behind you. Ten now. Oh, that's, that's a fluke hit right there. Oh, you had a fluke hit? Yeah, definitely. 100%. Yep. Yeah. There he is. Shit. I think he was down there. That might be the one I missed. Wow. Drag taker, Rick? Streamer? Oh, yeah. Okay. Doc's got him too. What do you got there, Doc? Huh? I, I can't hear anything. He needs a net and I okay. Need a net. All right. Two nets. Go, go. All right, I got color here. Here's a clipper. Yeah, clipper my ass. That's a huge fish. Doc, are you close over there? What? Yeah, whatever. Skinner's got this one. I want to come grab yours, but. What do you got up there? Snag. Oh, wow, that's weird, huh? Find a little fish here. Yeah. And I got another one working me. Oh. This has got to be a keeper. Come on, dude. See the bend in that rod? Yeah, you're up. This is a keeper. Is that it? 100%. Yep. Okay, I'll find you here. Where is it now? Get that ass out of the way. Remember, no drama netting. Oh, damn. Oh, Rick's on! And as usual, we bleed these fish into a bucket, and then when we go back up current, uh, we'll put these up in the fish box uh, under ice, and the fillets come out so nice this way. A little miscommunication here on the 
the size of the fish, uh, whether it was n needed to be netted or not, and eh, we'll get them in. Catch a short. Slack. 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 Oh, I look, I look bigger in the water. What do you think, John? We're going to find out. Uh, all, you just focus on being able to reproduce this drift. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it confused with all your other drift lines. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll check them. I don't think... Don't I've think seen that. many shorts today. Right. Although, you know, you know, the thing is, I just saw a couple good ones, and... Oh! Oh! the blue in the water. Your knife. He kicked oh. it out of the boat. <laughs> Here's a full kit. Boy. Oh, I saw that. I gotta show you how to set a hook. I don't know if you've taken my online. Yeah. I had it set a hook. Set a net. And yeah. Also Rick, a net Rick's course, set, set a net. Oh, it's my, no, my fish set. again. Okay, see, that's the way you, you set it. And this is the way you reel in a big ass fish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come over there. Yeah, yeah. Spin them around. Keep them moving, keep them oh, moving. Nice That's fish. the biggest one of the day. Nice keep them moving. Fish. Nice. No drama. Nice no drama. Nice fish. That's the one I missed. Nice Come on, man. Right. I'll give it to you. Nice, nice fish. fish, Rick. And you set it perfectly. Good set, huh? Huh? Rick set. He knew it was coming because I had the fish all primed for him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one, huh? That's what we came here for. Alright, we're just coming up for the last mark. Oh, there it is. Ooh, oh, that's, that's a nice good. one, huh, John? That's John? Um, I'm afraid this is the wrong sp species. Oh. Or, you know what? I guess it is a nice fluke. Oh. Yeah, it's a fluke, yeah. Okay. You know, unless I fouled him. Never mind, he's spinning or... Oh. You know what? If we lose him, we lose him. I'll take care of him. We, we, we're going to get our limit. Mm. <laughs> it's a big, nice fish, yeah. yeah it looks like a keeper. Well, it's definitely a keeper. Okay, this is the spinning version of the Dark Matter Skinner Jig and Bounce uh, rod that has become so popular for fluke, blackfish. It's even a great striper rod. And uh, as I've mentioned, some people prefer spinning, and spinning definitely has its place. And yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, we've, we've got a boat limit now, and uh, I'm gonna switch over and try the new rod. It just arrived, um, got them at j &H Tackle. There's a link in the video description. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, Halkius does very well on the charters when he uh, goes to a, a spinning rod, a single bucktail, no teaser. Oh, nice fish too. Look at that. Oh, nice fish. Oh, wow. Maybe I should net it for you, huh? Wow. <laughs> you okay? He doesn't even know. Just flip him over. He's done. Yeah, but Cliff, throw in one of those 18 inch fish in there. No. <laughs> the one, one of the bleeding ones. Yeah. Bye bye, fish. Re re release him. Look at that. Well, you could have just thrown it back in.
There we go. Chicken bounce spin. Unbelievable. Well, this, this one isn't as big as the other one. How come we catch one fish after another? We stuck the wind up here. Look at these fish. Nice fish, too. Nice fish. Thank you. Bye. That's a nice fish. Yeah. And seven fish. So this is probably the only thing I don't like about spinning gear for this fishing is, um, sir, I miss a fish here. I need to let the line back down. That means I have to use my other hand to flip the bale. Uh, with the flipping switch on the casting reel, all I need to do is with the hand that holds the rod, just push my thumb down, release the thumb, and the line goes down. One-handed depth control. Yeah, and it's a minor thing. Maybe I'm lazy. Small though, or not, you know, small keeper at best. Yeah. One day was too right. I got someone. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, oh, hey, you got a good one there, Cliff. Yeah, and you, you, thought, and you thought you had some. Now, that would be a nice way to end the day is a big ass yeah. cliff fluke. Yeah, it's not a big ass. It's a nice fluke, but it's not a big ass fish. Suck it, Kohat. Now, you, you deserve to suck it, You deserve to suck it, Kohat. <laughs> oh, it's good, good thing everybody's got the net handy. <laughs> hey, well, when I brought my, yeah, actually, what do do yeah, I'll get him. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna keep you alive, boy. I don't think that's the keeper. What are you gonna do with this big fish, Rick? I don't think that's the keeper. Hey. I think that's another shark. Up, I just, just perfect. perfect. If you leave them in there long enough, they shake off. No, no, that's not the right. I think it could be fouled or sea bass, big sea bass. I'm gonna go with the sea robin. Big sea bass. Oh my God! Look at the size of that sea bass. Whoa. No sea robin. You know the square one. Let that one go. This is gonna make Rick very happy. Oh my God. Oh. Oh me? Yeah, Rick. You talked about the one. That's a huge. You know, for the amount of time I used the spinning rod, I actually did better than when I was using my preferred casting rod. And also, uh, I'm catching all these fish at a time when the other guys really aren't doing much. But, you know, check out the conditions too, right? It's nice and glassy. Um, I'm able to stay down there with two ounces with no teaser. And, yeah, I guess it's, you know, it's a good presentation. They, they certainly like it. And, uh, yeah, and, hey, let's look at how I field tested this rod for durability. And uh, it will convince you that it's, Definitely good for more than fluke. Uh, I guess this rod's going to handle fluke, huh? Oh, I'm not going to get this one. All right, that's a slammer 4,500 spool with 30 pound line. Wow. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I spent half my year in Florida doing this stuff. So if you haven't checked out my Florida videos, uh, yeah, they're entertaining, educational, so uh, please give them a look. And hey, again, if um, you know you have some opinions on casting versus spinning for uh, fluke jigging in particular, I'd, I'd love to hear them. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to that notification bell. And check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash skinner.